Um, what was I going to talk about? Oh yes, Canadian Telecommunications. Communications. Okay, if you don't know about tele Canadian Telecommunications companies, um, they're pretty shitty. We basically have what people call the Big Three, which is Bell, Telus, and Rogers. But I'm pretty certain that Telus is at least partially owned by uh, by fucking um, Bell. But uh, you know, just in case I'm wrong on that. Okay, you gotta run this way. Whatever, he's dead. Uh, so, but whatever area you're in, you, you, you're usually just dealing with like two of them uh, at a time. So it's kind of crappy. Oh, I don't. Okay, cool. I do have this. Uh, you're usually dealing with two because it's usually either uh, a cable company. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I'm good. Uh, either you're dealing with one or the other. Like, a, a cable or a telephone company. Executor, how is it that you've come here? I was about to abandon all hope of rescue. I have come to arrest you and bring you home to Aya to stand trial. Arrest me? Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. You travel all this way to arrest me? Don't let it get to you, man. This happened to me once. Who is this human, Tassadar? The name's Jim Rayner, pal. And I won't be talked down to by anybody. Not even a Protoss. Amusing. Tassadar, your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. Executor, prepare to take Tassadar into Executor, custody. Executor, wait. I do not know what they have told you about me. But what I have done... I have done for Ire. Help me find Zeratul and his Dark Templar. They alone can defeat the Overmind Cerarites. Once we have won, I shall gladly submit myself to the judgment of the Conclave. Unthinkable. You presume that we would side with the Dark Ones as you have? You have gone quite mad, Tassadar. You shall speak of them with respect, Eldarus. Executor, there is much that I can explain to you. If only you'll help me find Zeratul. Alright, I gotta bring Rainer and Tessler to the beacon, whatever. Okay, so what was I talking about? Yeah, so... Yeah, there's a lot of guys. The High Templar said that? Oh, this guy said it. Whatever. Um... So, the communications, uh, the telecommunications companies. These guys are mostly phone companies. Uh, there is, uh, fucking, uh, Shaw as well, and some smaller companies, but the, the big three are the main ones. Shaw is a cable company, but they don't actually do phone or internet. Well, they do internet. But they're, they're, they're a West Coast company, so I live on the West Coast of Canada. Um, in case you didn't know that. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. Um, and they're renowned for being really shitty service and all that kind of stuff and, like, being really crappy to you. And I'll, I'll go on about that in, uh, in a minute. Like, the, the problem is we don't have much choice here. Um, because the way it works in Canada is, uh, they, what they want is, um, we have a, we have a board called this, uh, the CRTC, which is like a telecommunications regulatory, it's like your FCC almost, uh, if for Americans. And they don't want foreign companies coming in to the telecommunications market. And so what they do is they, they bar foreign companies from coming in and, and trying to uh, make kind of make money or whatever. Oh god. Whatever. You didn't do anything. Uh, and okay, so it's like the, the thing is we are in dire need of competition, but they aren't giving us they, they aren't giving proper competition at all, and, uh, it's, like, they're, they're really, they're fucking lazy companies, basically. Like, you know, I think a lot of companies can, uh, sorry, a lot of people can attest to having, uh, businesses like that, wherever they, wherever you live, you know, you, you can always talk about, like, AT&T for the Americans, or, or, like, Comcast, or whatever. But these are, these guys are really fucking bad, like, like, you guys in America are just getting, like, shitty plans now, like, it's like, oh, like, we lost our unlimited caps. But it, we never had unlimited caps. We've always had these shitty caps. They, they, they got the idea from us, just to tell you, like, the, the, like to to fucking give you give you absolute shit, so they never have to upgrade their network. Like as I said, 
the hell? They're all waiting. Whatever. Good guy. I love Side Storm. Um, yeah. yeah, they got the idea from us. So, just to tell you, uh, I'll let me give you an idea of what I have to deal with uh, for my plans. Um, so, my. I, I currently just pay. I don't pay for TV because I don't want to pay for television at all. Like I, I will, um, I will watch shows online, obviously legitimately, <laughs> and um, and that saves me a bit of money for cable. Uh, so I don't pay for cable, and I just watch stuff on, uh, like th there, there's there's legitimate sources for that kind of shit. Like Comedy Central, I know you can. You can do things on, like things online. Let's just say I do that. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have admitted to that in this video. But anyways, uh, I admitted to nothing. You fucking you can, can't take me to court for that. Uh, okay. Anyways, um, so I, what what I try to do is I try and pay the least amount per month because I'm I honestly I don't like paying monthly fees for for all kinds of stupid shit. It is expensive to get like TV and and home phone and all this shit in Canada. So what I try and do is I basically get a cell phone and internet. And, you know, to be honest, I don't watch a whole lot of TV anyway. Actually, I don't watch any TV. I just watch mostly documentaries online. So I, sh I shouldn't even say that. Uh, and sometimes, like, like movies and stuff. But, you know, you got like, Netflix and stuff like that. So, so we're, we're pretty good. We're pretty good in that regard. Um, so uh, for my cell phone, I have it from Rogers because uh, where I am, uh, you basically have two options. Uh, you get it from either Bell or Rogers, which will both give you really shitty uh, plans. Uh, and, you know, you don't you don't get much choice in that regard. That's your first option. Your second option is to uh, use one of the smaller providers. They were just recently allowed into Canada, uh, these smaller providers. And it's like Wind. Uh, one of them is called Wind. Uh, and they're, they're pretty... Like, the, the problem with them is, if you go with them, um, they're actually not that much better. Like, you can get, like, unlimited plans. But they're honestly not that great. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Oh, I, I made them both. What? Oh my god, they have rude wings. Um, yeah, so you don't get that much better of, of a service at all. And, uh-oh. Uh, it's a good thing I have side storm. Can I not get shuttles yet? No, I can't. Cause that'd be like the cheapest thing. Okay, I honestly don't care about these guys. It's not over. Wow, I'm not doing too well. Let's bring these guys down now. Okay, so that, that, that's my first option, is basically to do that. Fucking hell, they're queen. Um, okay, and so my my second option is to, uh, yeah, so to basically deal with these companies. Like, and Okay, and the thing about the smaller companies is that they're only available in big cities. Uh, they're that kind of software company. Oh, fucking god. These guys are fucking relentless with the thing. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. So, when I go with Bell or Rogers, I get much more coverage, but I get shittier plans. So, my plan right now is I get, uh, uh, 150 megabytes, uh, of data a month. Uh, and I also get, um... A 200 minutes, uh, free evenings and weekends, and, uh, fucking, I'm trying to think here. Uh, and unlimited text messaging, I think, were, like, a really high number, so I don't pay for text. But te text, like, you shouldn't have to pay for them in the first place. They're, like, dirt cheap to fucking do. Okay, so that, that's kind of my crappy plan. I pay $50 a month for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I have to pay extra for, like, well, I, I am paying extra for voicemail and stuff. Kill this fucker. What the hell is my phone keep vibrating for? Oh, never mind. It's, uh, Nisi's bug bugging me on my, my OSM. Yeah, so I, I only fucking get to, um... I only, I only get to use my, my cell phone, like, very sporadically. Like, I only use it to, like, browse Reddit and some other shit. I, I don't, honestly don't use it for much else. Um, and, and it's for a good reason. It's because, like, fucking, it's expensive. Why the hell would I pay for it? 
It doesn't. It doesn't really make much sense to me. Um, and so, uh, let's see here. Uh, and my internet is basically, uh, uh, basically a sub company called Tech Tech Savvy, uh, which is like they they resell from Shaw. And Shaw gives internet packages. They're like fifty dollars or some fucking shit, like like for really crappy speeds. Like they're honestly like the worst speeds ever. Um, and I'm just gonna deal with these guys. Wow. Um, so they, they give they give me they give me atrocious speeds as well. It's like really fucking bad. The worst. Um, okay, and so uh, I I get it from Tech Savvy, which is slightly cheaper, uh, but they're still kind of they 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 resell from one of the big telecommunications company. I pay like another fifty dollars a month for twenty five megs down. Um, and uh, 1.5 makes up. Upload. Oh. Uh, one attack. There's, a, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. So it's I don't get I don't get a good deal at all. It's pretty crappy. Anyways, um, so with that, uh, I'm trying. I'm losing my train of thought. But like as I said, this is better than what most people pay. And most people pay for like fucking crap like uh I, I don't even I don't even know. Like they, they they pay like for for TV and home phone and stuff and they get these bundles and that's how they get you. And it's like like just shit general shit like like shitty crap like that they do. And I hate it. I can go kiss my ass. I need you down here. Uh oh. Stand here, Tassadar. I love side stroke too much. So yeah, I don't get a good deal with that at all. Um, I, I don't know what else I can go on with. Um, okay, so anyways, so uh, now that now that you know my internet character, I pay hundred dollars a month for probably the bare minimum. So you can imagine what other people pay if they want like internet and shit. You know, they they pay like a lot more than I do, and I, I consider myself lucky in that regard. It really shouldn't be. Like it's it's a crap it's honestly a really crappy deal, but you know. What do you want me to do at this point? So yeah, that's what I get. You have my thanks, Executor. Now let us find Zeratul and speed our way home. I'll talk I'll talk about what I went through for my internet in the next mission. I, I, it took way too long to explain that, because I was trying to concentrate, it's hard. Executor by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you are our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race's salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the prelate, Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless, for the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrate failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ire. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased. Okay. Oh, this, this one's actually easy. If I recall, you could just do this like, like fucking skillful style. Fuck the conclave. 
I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Alright, so this is what you do. How may I help? It shall be done for our dawn. There you go. Hey, that's just. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. This guy is kind of getting low on whatever. No! He died. Okay. I got. I almost got this. Why? And they fucking focus down the, the the real shuttle. Like, it's like take him out, take that motherfucker out. Like you could do this with, with like the, this is like the laziest way to do it. Fuck you, Zod. Stay there. All right, let's let's try this again. All right, bring this guy down here. All right, we got this. All right, let's say this one more time. And of course, it's gonna start lagging. I I just switched the hard drives on this, and it and it continues to lag. Like it's terrible. Oh no no, unload all. Ah oh, fuck! I didn't do it right. Sorry. I, I keep forgetting it's not D, the hotkey, the hotkey is fucking U. Okay, you're focusing the wrong one down. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's 300% skill only if you can actually fucking pull this off. Okay, come on guys, run over here. Ah uh, no! <laughs> I got I got to get all the shuttles there. All right. I'm telling you, it's possible. Okay, you gotta do it kind of like this, and then they're focusing the other one down. All right, I got this. Got it. Done. Yay! Wow, that uh, that took a little bit longer, but yeah, it, it is it is possible if I was actually you know good at this game, maybe it wouldn't take so long. Hey, Sergeant! Sarge! Hey! You will immediately tell me why you have called me from my desk, Private! Protoss unit, Sarge! Coming through the South Pass! It looks broke! Kill it!
Oh, Arbiters. Also, that attack looks entirely dodgeable. 